Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here. Today we're looking at Linux Lite version 2.6. Now if you're not familiar with this distribution, Linux Lite is based on Ubuntu 14.04 and uses the XFCE desktop environment. So what we've got is a, a computer system that uses a long-term support release so you're constantly getting updates for a period of five years. Uh, and with XFCE, you have a traditional desktop that is very stable, but at the same time, for the more advanced users out there, it is fairly easy to go tweak and, and, and uh, customize to your heart's content. Um, I use Linux Lite for all of the kids' laptops in my household because, you know, I've got enough work to do with uh, without having a distribution on other people's laptops that is difficult to maintain and, and Linux Lite gives me that uh, that uh, easy to keep updated distribution uh, while giving the kids all the software that they might want to get their hands on. So what you're looking at here is the default desktop at, right after setup. Um, other than setting this up and uh, you know I did the updates, added my screen recorder and uh, you know other than that this is uh, you know default Linux Lite they have a real nice welcome screen and uh, you know more and more distributions are going to a a welcome screen so you know kinda along this route um, you know Linux Lite has a real nice welcome screen uh, Manjaro for the longest time has had a, a nice welcome screen and uh, you know more and more distributions really need to get on this bandwagon it really is nice for the new users you know you got quick links for you know how to do the upgrades hardware recommendations uh, online support you know all the links and then the social media links as well Every, all those links that um, you know you might want uh, you might want to be readily available I guess you could say let me get that out of the way and uh, you know here's the default look the default wallpaper you have quite a variety of wallpapers available if you uh, so desire to change the look um, just kinda of scrolling through what they've got here I've got uh, you know a fair number of different uh, looks that you can set up here As far as the desktop layout, they have it set up so that uh, um, all your drives are going to show up on the desktop as icons. Down at the bottom you have a single panel and we have the whisker menu over on the left hand side and you can either uh, click it to open or it is also keyed to the windows or super key so you can uh, pull it up that way. Um, and if you're not familiar with the whisker menu it allows you to do a keyboard search so if you're looking for LibreOffice you know you can just start typing away and find what it is that you're looking for or you can go through the categories and and you know do a traditional desktop search after that we've got some uh, some hot links there we've got one for uh, display desktop if you click that it'll minimize all the windows that are open and then clicking it again will bring them right back for you. Got a quick link for Firefox, one for your home folder, one for the terminal, and one for the uh, the light control center, which we'll talk a little bit more about that later on. And then next to that, we've got our tray showing all of the open um, windows. And then coming over to the right hand side, we've got a workspace workplace yeah workplace switcher and then uh, the language icon right there the 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 circle and red dot right here is from simple screen recorder which is my recording software and then right here we have our internet connections and then our um, our volume control and you can also control um, your media players through there as well and then our time slash date slash calendar. The Linux Lite Control Center is something that's recently been added and really for you know this is probably one of the one of the best things that they did for the new and inexperienced user or not even that just somebody that wants an easy to use tool 
uh, for uh, you know all kinds of stuff on their desktop. So, like I said, we've got a quick launch for it right here. If we click it, open it up. First of all, you get this My Computer View, which gives you a whole breakdown of you know our operating system, the desktop environment, what kind of processor we got, 64-32-bit, the amount of memory, um, our host name, kernel, soft, when our last software update was, um, you know, graphics card, sound card, um, IP address, all kinds of stuff like that. Moving on to the desktop category, there's just all kinds of stuff that you can do, uh, tweaks and, and whatnot to not just the desktop, but like, a, you know, quick launch to getting to your window manager configuration, um, window manager tweaks, um, configuring the desktop wallpapers, the appearance, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Moving down to software, uh, from here it gives you, you know, you got a quick link for doing the Linux Lite update, up, yeah, update. <laughs> I just cannot talk today. Uh, uh, doing an upgrade or installing and removing software, editing the software sources, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Hardware, if you want to go and install more drivers, your monitor settings, mouse and touchpad power settings, uh, configuring the printers, all that kind of stuff, um, network settings, and then on down to all kinds of system settings so it's sort of a you know one-stop shopping for you know all kinds of stuff for your desktop one of the ways you can install software with this distribution is with the light software installer and uh, you know after clicking on that option which from the uh, uh, from the light control center you just go over here to light software and you know you can go through and it's not a huge list but uh, you know more I guess you consider it more popular options that uh, that people may want to install, such as the Chrome browser, uh, Dropbox. Got this game pack here, um, Kodi Media Player, uh, Skype, Steam. Uh, you know, just simply click whatever it is that you want to install, and you can click you know basically everything here, or just pick and choose, click install. Do you want to proceed? Yes, and boom, it'll install that for you. Now, in addition to the light installer, Synaptic Package Manager is included as well, so you can go and install, um, you know, packages via the the traditional package manager route as well. System Back is a backup. Let me go and put my password in here. It is a backup utility that you can use to back up your system. Um, you know, you simply pick a restore point. We're going to, let's say, let's, let's make a, a restore right now. We'll create new, boom, and let it run. That's really all there is to it as far as creating a restore point for you. And then after uh, creating the restore point, you can go in and use that restore point to, you know, restore your system back to that particular point. I'm going to move this out of the way while it's running. Another interesting piece of software we got here is this Light Tweaks. And uh, in a lot of ways, I kind of think of this as very much like Bleach Bit in that, you know, you can auto-remove packages, fix some boot-up errors, um, set your default web browser, just all kinds of little tweaks and cleanups that you can do to your uh, uh to your computer system. There's a lot to like about this distribution. It, uh, you know, it's very good for the new user or the person that is not, uh, you know, extremely computer savvy or, uh, you know, just not very Linux savvy. Um, having said that, there's a couple of things that kind of had me scratching my head uh, as far as the way things are set up and whatnot. Um, one is on the updates, you know, we're running XFCE 4.10, um, you know, when they've gone and updated so many other things, why they haven't up, updated to XFCE 4.12, there's a PPA that allows them to do that, 
and you know so that kind of had me scratching my head i mean we're they, they've got the ppas added so that they can run the latest LibreOffice and you know some of the other software so why didn't they do that with xfce so that kind of had me scratching my head um, as well you know we're still running linux kernel 3.13 if you look on uh, on the my computer section here under kernel 3.13. 0-62 so I mean it is uh, the latest uh, you know patch or you know whatever you want to say to to the 313 series kernel um, but like I said had me scratch my head why why we're not on 316 or even newer um, especially since you know the latest uh, the latest um, 1404 update has upgraded the kernel to um, I forget which one, but it's in the 316 series, so that kind of had me scratching my head. Um, as far as you know, any issues or problems, um, you know, really didn't run into any any problems. Um, you know, all my hardware was detected by without any problem. Was able to connect to my printer, no problem. All that went fine. Um, the install went fine, no problems there. I will say though that the boot up is extremely slow. Um, and you know, I, I tried this both on my desktop and on my laptop, uh, you know, completely different architectures. And you know, on both of them, boot up time was extremely long. Uh, it was something like 25 seconds on, on my desktop here. I didn't uh, time it on my laptop but it was it was pretty long there as well so uh, you know why such a long boot up uh, I you know no clue on that one but like I said overall this is a real nice distribution um, definitely something that you might want to check out uh, you know hand over to uh, to a new user somebody that's new to the Linux world um, or you know like you know do like in my case uh, um, you know, if you've got to maintain a computer for somebody else, you might as well make it a computer that's going to be easy for you to keep updated and whatnot. Uh, so, you know, just kind of food for thought. Anyway, that about finishes this review up. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, uh, comments, questions, all that kind of stuff, leave that down below. I will try to get to it as soon as possible. And uh, give us a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks a lot.